The famed 20th century astronomer Carl Sagan once said of the planet Venus that if there was a place in the solar system most like hell, that was it. But in his era, they did not know nearly as much about the moon of Jupiter called Io. In this clip, you see Jupiter disappearing to the right of the screen, and that small dot, lower left corner, that is the volcano moon, Io, the most geologically active body in the solar system. Io is a moon, one might say a moon planet, it's quite large, it's about the size of Earth's own moon, and it orbits the planet Jupiter the most massive planet in our solar system. So massive, in fact, that if you added up all the other planets in the solar system, Jupiter would be 2.5 times more massive. And while Jupiter's colorful clouds, massive and century-lasting storms make it incredibly impressive, that tiny dot, now visible out there to the left on the far horizon of Jupiter, is easily, apart from our own Earth, the most unique object in our solar system. Taking a closer look at Io, it is immediately evident just how different. Its very coloration is different from anything else that we see in the entire solar system. And this is because much of the surface of Io is covered with sulfur, giving it, toward its equatorial regions, a typical yellow sulfurous hue, and a burnt orange hue toward its polar regions, which is the result of radiation impacting and interacting with that sulfur. Io is, beyond a shadow of a doubt, the most volcanic object in the solar system. At any given time, numerous volcanoes are active around the moon. They are visible here, on the dark side of Io, as pale red dots, representing pools of hot ground and lava. In the course of space exploration, several probes have passed Io, taking the opportunity to point their cameras its way. And the Juno probe should give us extraordinary views on December 30th, 2023, and again on February 3rd, 2024. And I'm eager to see what they reveal. But I think the natural question about EO that anybody would have is just what creates its magnificent and terrible volcanoes? And as it turns out, that piece of the puzzle is already known. You see in front of you, not Saturn with its rings, but the planet Jupiter. Yes, Jupiter has rings, far less dramatic than those of Saturn. And, unless one catches them in just the right light, almost invisible. But, our center of attention here is the movements of the Galilean moons around Jupiter. The closest moon zipping around Jupiter every 42 hours is Io. Now, Earth's moon is 384,000 kilometers away, closer to us than Io is from Jupiter, but it takes the moon 28 days to go around Earth. Yet Io rockets around Jupiter every 42 hours. And this is because Jupiter is 318 times more massive than Earth, having much greater gravity. So Io needs greater speed to keep up its orbit. In fact, our moon orbits Earth at 1.022 kilometers per second, whereas Io orbits Jupiter at an average of 17.334 kilometers per second, some 17 times faster. Io is so close to Jupiter that it is literally tormented by gravity. But it takes more than a close orbit to Jupiter to create all that volcanic activity. Here, you can clearly see the other piece of the puzzle. The three other large moons, the rest of the large Galilean moons, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto, orbit further out than Io. And given the rapid speed of Io's orbit every day, it passes between one or more of them and Jupiter. This creates a constant and huge gravitational tug of war within Io, pulling and tugging at it enough to move its surface by as much as a hundred meters. By comparison, tides on Earth average only a meter. And this never-ending movement of Io's interior creates friction that generates massive heat. Heat which causes interior swelling that must be vented. And this happens through the eruption of volcanoes that are enormous by Earth's standards and also the formation of numerous lava lakes. Not only do Eos volcanoes dwarf those to be found on Earth, but by comparison, its lava lakes are seas. One of them, known as Lokipatera, is a million times larger than any lava lake to be found on Earth. It has been observed by astronomers for decades, and it was captured in this image taken by Voyager 1 in 1979. It is the thick black crescent on the lower right of the photo, 
with a bit of land, kind of like an island in the middle. For reference purposes, I have placed a red circle around it. In addition to the Lokipatera, those other dark spots are other lava lakes. There are numerous volcanoes also visible in this image. But the Lokipatera is particularly interesting because every 400 to 600 days, its brightness cycles, going from dimmer to brighter to dimmer again. A kind of interplanetary old faithful. The magma of Io is made of sulfur, and the operating theory for why this happened is that that magma would flow into the Patera, cool, and form a crust. The crust itself would be denser than the magma beneath it and then break off and sink to the bottom of the Patera, to be replaced by fresh hot magma. This was the going theory for decades, and it was recently confirmed when a transit by the moon Europa shaded Io, allowing for accurate measurements of heat changes in the Loki Patera. Scientists were able to trace the way heat spread over the Patera, and it proved to be consistent with the theory that sulfur magma was spreading over a cooling and sinking crust. The fact that modern observatories can observe such detailed phenomena going on on a world hundreds of millions of miles away is nothing less than astounding. But then, Io is an astounding moon with other amazing features and a relationship to Jupiter itself that we have not even begun to look at yet. And we will come back to this wondrous place in a future episode of Sky Story. Thank you for venturing into the cosmos with me in this episode of Sky Story. Sky Story is part of the Understory Network, a series of channels devoted to the study of the natural world. In MicroStory, we study the invisible world of the very small. In Understory, we examine natural history and issues of conservation. And in Sky Story, we look beyond Earth and explore the cosmos. There will be many more episodes, so to keep abreast, please take a moment to subscribe, and don't forget to hit that like button.